I see this ship in this is driven by Ed. Is it? Oh, good. Hello, stream. <laughs> no, this... this <laughs> is this one uh, of the I, menu I, screen things? Yes, it's the one that's crashing. Okay. Uh, that <laughs> I'm may, sorry, that might have been funny if any of us could have seen that. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you feel that we should all have sort of characters and, and bios now that uh, we've like, gone for this? I think we uh, already have characters. <laughs> do, do we? Okay. <laughs> I think this is the biggest group of characters I've seen in a while. Okay, guys, so, uh, like, since we've... Uh, what, what, ho? what ho? What ho? So okay. since we exposed g Corp's wrongdoing to the whole solar system using their communication satellites, uh, they, they've they uh, been forced to shut down, so there's there's no more g Corp facilities on this planet. And so I hope that we'll have a time of relative peace to... Uh, to do stuff, but I'm sure the life will come teeming back to Mars now that G Corp's gone. So I uh, I, I've come to this place, uh, at the side at the base even of Olympus Mons, in the hopes that we can build some kind of a life here. Oh, we're not building on Olympus Mons, are we? Yep. I thought we decided it was too too rocky. It's too not bumpy. too rocky. It's fine. Uh, it might not be. Have you turned on artificial gravity uh, upside down? No. I don't, why did I just drift to the ceiling for no apparent reason? I don't know. So, are we going to land straight away, Doug? Chan? Um, I suggest that there's a slight issue with that in that it is the Duke Duke is still massively overweight. Mm. We're not referring well, to the You're fat shaming it. You're fat shaming our ship. Why is Refinery 15 not, uh, not refining? Uh, I suspect it is not completed. There is a uh, unfinished refinery or two. Okay. It could be not connected to the cargo system. There are, in fact, two unfinished refineries. I'm quite happy to do some mining, but I've got to come down to the planet surface first, I guess. Yeah, well, if you two could work out how you're going to get the Duke Duke down. Oh, it's, it's very simple. It's just Doug Chan doesn't want to do it. Yes, uh, I see these. I mean, I think the, the bigger challenge is how do we get it down and, like, you know, um, have it still, like, capable of movement. Uh, I now see what I imagine to be the Earth and Moon. Uh, we could, for example, beef off uh, its thrusters substantially. I suspect that would help. You could repair the thrusters it already has. I'm just I mean, it's been doing. There. I have changed owner of everything to Mike. Please okay, go and change you... it to share with faction. <laughs> okay. Oh, because I, I can't get out of the cockpit now because I don't oh. have permission. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do anything You've about that. You've been taken prisoner sure by Mike. Oh, actually, sure I can. There's more I can than one cockpit. cockpit. Yeah. There's more than one cockpit, yes. Oh, I was going to say, well, yeah, I was going to say, what could I do about that? But yeah, I can actually, because, okay. How do I do this? So... Hey. There you go, that's better. Okay, and then share with, share with my faction. There. There we go. Better. I've just remembered that the Zorro doesn't actually have any windows on the lower front deck. <laughs> that is true. Um... I remembered this by walking through them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you walked into them thinking that there were going to be windows there? I and did. And then you were like pleasantly surprised when there weren't. Yes, mm. uh, and I was like, oh, if I can switch on my jetpack. And so I did. All right, let's start building some things then. So we're going to need, um, I did make a list, didn't I? We're going to need a non-mining driller, a miner, uh, and then soon enough, a welder. I I'm happy to build a static mining rig once I, once I get down there, which it sounds like that's not really on your list, but I think will be useful. Uh, it's not we really. We need to into Olympus Mons to get to somewhere we can... You don't find. think we need resources, then? We well, do, we but, do, you but wanna... we need to go to somewhere with resources. Like, if we can find, like, uh, some good ore deposits, it might be worth building a static miner there. But, like, at this stage, I think we need a ship first to scout out where yeah, the Yeah, I'm telling you, it's ages until I get down there, I think. Why don't you okay. build, Rev, a static we'll mining rig on wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Cunning. <laughs> Um, so with the current mass of the um, Duke Duke, we would need uh, 30 hydrogen thrusters 30 hydrogen. to uh, keep it um, in the air. We don't need to keep it in the air, though. We just need to crash in a safe way. 
<laughs> that that sounds dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> I mean, in, in your, in your terms, Mike, that's called parking. Yeah, but also, <laughs> if, you're, if you're worried about bringing it down close enough to the Zorro, don't forget that even if you don't have enough uh, thrust to lift yourself, you'll be able to steer yourself laterally as you're coming down. Like, you do have quite a long time of coming down to adjust your trajectory. It's true, yes. Uh, also, there are some space pirates in the area, which is cause for some concern. I would uh, recommend we perhaps build some turrets. Okay, you build the turrets, I'll keep building refineries. Um, we do also lack... Um, magnesium? Magnesium, which is yes. somewhat important. Uh, well, if we were on a magnesium asteroid last time, and you were like, "Oh no, we don't need magnesium." No, I was, I was like going to get the magnesium. Uh, I think I'm going to start building a vehicle, Suz. Yeah. Uh, is, is there any preference for vehicle that you would like to build? Um. Well, I was oh, no. wondering in terms of uh drilling into you know my, uh digging into the side of the mountain. Yep. Um. Are you thinking of a vehicle, or are you thinking of constructing a drill frame to sort of? I was thinking that down? I would build a a car, basically, with a line of drills along the front. Uh, the problem mm. is, is that we presumably we want to go upwards as well. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. we do we do want to dig like quite a sizable base. Okay, yeah, that's I why I was thinking of a frame. The base needs to be bigger than the like... car. That should be obvious, really. Then a flying <laughs> machine is yes, the which was the uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I was thinking of starting that now because it's what we'll need first. But if you guys want to do that, you guys do that, and I will start on the welding rig. I think. Sure. Uh, okay. The machine. So which type? So was they doing the one that's not meant to pick stuff up, or the one that is meant to pick stuff up? I'm not. In, I'm intending it to just be a giant drill with a huge bank of drills on the front. That we yeah. Okay. Them. And no cargo. Yeah. No cargo. Okay. That's fine. So you uh, go with that then. Oh, I just killed myself. Oops. <laughs> That was like, how did I kill myself on that fall? You're sliding away. Because you're, you're shit, man. Yep, okay. So how did you actually do it? Like, you... Did you, like, copy them from the other yeah. server, or...? I, I made blueprints of the states they were in. Oh, sorry, oh, I, no, I, I loaded sorry, I the previous save. I the whole thing from scratch. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, actually, I just remembered what they looked like, and I built them piece by piece by hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really Lovingly put to shame recreating the, uh, the four sessions of yeah. the Duke Duke, yeah. <laughs> Lovingly recreating all of the design flaws in the Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> and all of I, and I had to like crash the Zorro into five different rocks. I and I like I had to build four different Zorros because the first four times I tried crashing it into rocks, it destroyed it in not quite the right way. So I had to start again from scratch. <laughs> We now have 13 refineries. Is this enough yet? It's just if you uh, if you go up and oh man, I th I'm so sorry. the point I was making about oh. about needing overhang and uh, yeah, I ran out of mountain. I like the way that we've managed so far to reduce the mass of our ship by I believe. <laughs> 30,000 kilograms out of yeah. the million or so that we're trying to save. Uh, and our conclusion is now we need more stone. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm. The vacuum of space is so effective that I can hear the noise of the ship while standing on it, and not if I jump a few centimeters in the air. I mean, that makes some sense. Yeah. What did you expect it to do? No, I think it's good. It would be quite cool if the game is forcing us to have to jump into a turret controller in order to shoot anything. It would be so, fine uh, if the turrets didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, remember, you can, you can tie a whole load of them together, though, can't you? You can sort of... You can make a pointy thing with a whole bunch of turrets attached to it, can't you? Oh, no, I think I don't mean turrets, do I? I think I mean... Aren't there non gimbaled Gatlings. Yes, that, that that you can do, but yeah. they only work if your ship is sufficiently maneuverable. Yeah, so you just put it on a, you make a little... That's not very helpful if thing. you're for, like, you know, a ship that's not moving. Yeah, no, you do, Mike. You, you make a, you make a, 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 it's like a gyro wobbly thing on, on top of the base, right, with six guns or whatever on a seat. 
and you jump in the seat and you can sort of wibble wobble it and, and shoot at things. I like yes, the technical indeed. terminology there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not the engineer on this team, guys. I mean, you're the... Uh... Dan is the senior engineer, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> Only in years, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> senior citizen. Oi! Uh... <laughs> Oh, yes, I did in fact weld this in the correct orientation. Yeah. Is there any such thing as a large Trendy. ejector? Mm, there's a large grid ejector, but like if you're on small grids, there is only one ejector. I am. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell did I die to then? You can also yeah. use connectors like ejectors, by the way. Yeah, that's true. And they so, are larger. Okay. I don't think they go any faster, though. No, my, my, my question was because I I, am use, I was using an ejector and it does not appear to to um connect, for want of a better word, to this um to this. Uh, it thing. only has a small conveyor port on it, yes. Um in that case, yes, a um a connector would work. What is the rust freighter? It's a freighter for carrying rust, I thought that was obvious. It has memory safety. So why are you saying who me? To Rev. What? 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 Uh, I was just exploring the PM. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I overdid. Sorry. <laughs> I mean nothing. <laughs> 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 Wait, was was this PM by any chance? Hey, does kill you should kill Mike or something? It wasn't. <laughs> no, it sounds like good, you're good suggestion. That wasn't very convincing, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know the dust storm's bad when you like get off the Zorro and you can't even see your build from the door of the Zorro? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see my build from the door of the Zorro. Oh, if yes, you yes, coloured it pink. I can only see it because it's got the glowing lights that, sh ironically, the lights which are switched on to show it's out of power. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Excellent work. Our refineries have cancelled all the, the, the build queues and they're all refining uranium, so... <laughs> yeah. They're refining your uranium. Apart from refineries 18 and 19 who are refining platinum. They are, like, we now have enough ura uh, uh, refineries that the uranium, like, does not actually fill them all up. So, what, what, so um, somebody has to explain to you what all this CAPAC business is. Uh, so, Kapak is a dude who is in a video series somewhat like this one. He's a lot like Doug, I would suggest. Is that ah. unfair? Uh, that doesn't matter, I feel like. <laughs> Doug doesn't drink as many cocktails as Kapak. Um, Does he miss out the tails or the cocks? Uh, Speaking of well, cocktails, no, he has both of those things, things individually. <laughs> a beer cocktail? Uh, just a beer. <laughs> are you t are, are you saying that like Doug's shandy is a cocktail? Less than the sum That's of its true. Parts? Why would I have shandy? Um, I don't know because you're a teenager. <laughs> oh, that ladybug is quite close. That is worryingly close, actually. Ladybug? Do me here's a little vehicle flying around. That would look. Yeah. Oh, look okay. north. Oh, three kilometers away, I see it. Yeah. Oof. Um, I mean, the Red Dwarf presumably will shoot it, assuming the guns work, um, which they won't. Oh, they're not moving around, so I don't think they will. Ah. <laughs> we can control them directly still. Yeah, um, how effective is that? Uh, it depends how good your aim is. Uh, so, so in very. your case, not very. <laughs> yeah. I envisage Dan's welding vehicle being extremely useful for building the other large vehicles because of how little a human can carry in this version. Mm. It's, it, it is a bit frustrating, isn't it? Uh, anyway. 
Uh, like, I too am frustrated by how little I can carry when I want to take things to places. Uh, since you're calculating stuff, RCX, could you calculate something for me? Sure. Uh, how many batteries this. do Sorry. I need? I think what you mean is calculate this bitch. <laughs> how many batteries do you need? Uh, how many thrusters? Uh, I'm going to have two large Atmos, and I'll probably be using four smalls at a time. Okay, so you've got, you want to be able to supply about 4.8, uh, call it 6 megawatts. Okay. Megawatts? 6 megawatts. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm just like really liking having my own little engineer on staff. <laughs> well, how how's your thinking coming on, RCX Jam? Um, okay, so we could do uh, That's the correct thought. Uh, so if we put four large hydrogen thrusters on the bottom, okay, uh, that I believe would support the weight. Do we need more ablative armor? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you you say ablative armor as if it's something special, but like all of your armor is ablative armor. <laughs> oh, well, no, no. So I think you'll depends find how many parachutes is, you have. Most of it is decorative on the Duke Duke. I think you'll find. <laughs> can take us a long time, but this uh, funny inventory thing you've got going on here. Seem from there to here. So does it rise into it? Hmm. I mean, Enterprise jokes us. Oh, I see. <laughs> so dismissive. Well, uh, we've been uh, watching Enterprise at night. And then we can recess them. Oops. That's uh, that's a gyroscope that is now uh, not connected. Um, okay, good work. Oh, you don't want gyroscopes floating around. They are quite heavy and they are <laughs> prone to damaging things that they crash I'm into. I'm collecting yes. it for you. Oh, missed. Why? Oh, crap, I, why have you dug a hole here in the ship? Sound of interest, given uh, there is a conveyor yeah. literally yeah. right here. Yeah, but I'd, the the large hydrogen stick out a bit. I would yeah, rather. well, I was just that's why I was saying that we need loads of ablative armor. I think we just put them on the base of this in a line and then we'll build massive armor things around them. No? Mm, I, I, I would I would I would recess them by like one. I mean they will still stick out more. You, but you like, want to, you, you, but there's a lot of delicate stuff inside be. the ship, right? And it, all you're gonna do is save one or two blocks worth of height by moving them up. Well that is like But look look what you have to destroy. But no, but look what we have to destroy in order to move it we up. Don't, I do we don't block. have to destroy much. C c can't, why can't we just mount them on the outside and then build extra armor underneath it to support it all? A bit shit. <laughs> it will look a bit shit, but it, it's, <laughs> it's it's just a land. We can take it off once we get down to the planet, can't well, we? No, because we'll still need it. Like until oh. the mass has gone down again. Well, we'll have made our cargo delivery then, though, won't we? And we can take it all off. So are you saying that the Duke Duke is going to be stripped down so it looks nice when it's parked and then re rigged up with a lot of hefty grout whenever it actually has to do anything? Maybe. <laughs> to me, Rev, that's what it sounds like you're saying. Well, no, I, I mean, are we going to be often carrying three million tons, worth, three million kilos of stuff? Or... I mean, we're likely to be carrying... I mean, I would put more stuff, like... You know, I don't in... know, does your mum want to ride? I mean, the awesome. other approach is just millions of small hydrogen thrusters, which, like... It would be cosmetically nicer, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Should we do that? And then we've solved the cosmetic <laughs> argument and the taking apart the, the innards of the ship uh, problem. And how many smalls do we need to equal two biggies? Or two um, and a bit biggies? Don't say his name, he appears. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I should have built some... Uh lower tier grinders for us why <laughs> just to avoid grinding too much stuff by accident yeah <laughs> are you saying dan that you ground so much that oh, i can't think of a good thing for this never mind <laughs> cool story bro 
Fair. I think we will have taken off 200,000 kilos by the time we managed to uh, <laughs> yeah. build all yeah, these chapters. That, that save us a faster, yeah. <laughs> build 20, save one. Also, have you seen these sci-fi thrusters? Yes. The unwelded state of them is so much better than the stock thrusters. Look, it has like a four turbine stages. I, I thought my engineer boyfriend would be interested in the multi-stage turbines, but no. I'm just, no, just trying to bonk him out the way, but he's... It, he's oh, you uh, stopped bonking my boyfriend. <laughs> I thought she's got, oh, there we go. I've managed to bonk him a bit there. <laughs> Did he consent? <laughs> and, like, can you tell me the secret? <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did you manage to build that without making all the air leak out of the ship? What? Isn't that bit... This is when he's like, what? There was air in the ship? Critical to the air tightness of the front compartment. No, I don't believe so. The, no? Okay. Like, the, the, the front compartment is... Uh, oh, yeah, no, you're still behind the bulkhead. Yeah. I took a lesson Ooh. from Philip's activity of repeatedly dying and mm -hmm. um, never opened my helmet on the Zorro. Yes. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, I do have a nice mod-related tip for people. When you're grinding stuff... Tap, tap. Um, yes, when you're tapping stuff, it, it means the same thing. Um, there's, there is now a little window that appears ab on the right-hand side above the name of the block that you're grinding that has some more information about it, like the oh. mass of the grid and the mass yes, of that so, block. Yeah, I'm And that. it also says in yellow prominent letters, Grid will split if removed. Oh, really? Okay. If the block is positioned such that when you take it off, some other blocks will fall off. That Again, that feels a bit cheaty to have that kind of information. <laughs> it is cheaty, but since we have it, uh, Ooh, I draw your attention to it. Nice. And I will remind you that I've drawn your attention to it next time you accidentally grind a grid in half. <laughs> well, I, well I, I'm not the one who's been doing that. Can I just uh, remind us? I do feel like I'm the most likely to uh, fall foul of this. So I'm going to tell you now so that you can embarrass me later. <laughs> uh, that won't stop us finding other ways to embarrass you if we can. Right? I'm sure it won't. Bonus points if we can embarrass him without him specifically. Right? I mean, I'm sure you can do that too if you try hard enough. I just don't think. I think it will be more funny if I'm like responsible for my own demise. I'm sure you will be. Okay. Well, well, I had an that? explosion. Yeah, me. Mm. <laughs> well, of course it was. Uh, no, it, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I heard. Could the have explosion. been one of the passing cargo ships. They do sometimes crash into mountains. Mm, what am I forgetting from my ship? I have a gyro, some cargo, a connector, a beacon, thrusters in many directions, and batteries. Wheels. Or Does uh, the gyro have enough gyro? to oh, no, I don't. I, I don't need wheels because it's not static. <laughs> I see what you did there. I yeah. give you points. How's your thing going, Sazo? Yeah, I keep... So I'm making a broad set of uh, landmines, um, wheels, uh, driller. <laughs> wow, it's like each component of my ship takes about two trips to get all the bits I need. Yeah. Sorry. Oof, what? Oh, who I'm just so got cap uh, Thank sleeping. you for following the PM, uh, sirs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one that didn't say to kill Mike. Yeah. But apparently uh, it did say to kill Ed. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just <laughs> generally on the to do list anyway. Sorry. Well, if you're no, go on, Ed. If the Zorro, uh, about 
half a block forward. The reason being that my body <sighs> appears to have fallen underneath the wheel and I cannot pick it up. Dig a hole. Uh, Dan loves it when you dig a hole under his vehicle. Especially right under the wheel. I'd be asked to move the vehicle and to have a hole dug right under the wheel of the Zorro. If you, if you dig a hole it a under go. all the wheels, uh, it will really help him. Hang on, I should send that in PM, shouldn't I? So. Okay. Raising the ramp. Yeah. I'm just a bit like cautious because if I roll backwards at all, I will be rolling over the craft I'm building. Well, then don't you got you didn't we add rocket engines? Sorry, jet engines to the Zorro. So oh, we, there you go. Loads okay, of room. Yeah, you can stop now. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. So yeah, um, I can't actually see any explosives in the um cargo container. Aren't you? No, I'm searching Do you for want explosives. Dad to come and look? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm searching for explosives and I couldn't see. Can you mine some more stone, please? Oh, hang on, I can mine some stone, can't I? But um... What are you using stone for? Or oh, out of nickel again. Uh, we have 138 ah. explosives. Okay. Um, I found that the, like, the easiest way to do the scrape mining with Duke Duke is to just uh, turn off the dampeners and then very slowly oh, like, set point. up a very slow motion. Like, you know, about half a meter a second or something like that. Like that. There we go. Yeah, yeah very nice. With this low capacity, I've given, I've given up uh, the choosing exactly how many things I put in my backpack. I just see, what do I need the most of? And drag them all, and it would fill just be a tiny number. And I'm like, thanks. I, I do find for like planning out builds, it is easiest to just have like just pick up a bunch of steel and a bunch of interior plates because that's the starter blocks that most things yeah, need. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I yeah. did for my um that's what I did for my ship. But now I'm actually trying to assemble its assemble its bits. Oh. Um, yeah. how useful oh. are gyroscopes at flying ships? <laughs> or directing um, ships, rather? They can't fly ships, but they are indispensable for directing ships okay like base basically if you tried to build a missile with basically engines to keep it in the air and engines to keep it going forward would that work roughly like as in could you make it go in a forward or yeah it will go in a straight line well, you won't be able to steer it you can't steer it okay you need you need thrusters to steer it you can't no, you just need gyros it. to steer it gyro oh, yeah, but sorry, what I meant. if you have gyros i meant so, in theory, you can make a missile with just one thruster and a gyro. Yeah. It will be quite hard to control. I was going to link you to a missile building video earlier, actually, Mike, on, on the YouTube, but uh, oh. I didn't think you would need it in the end. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just do it myself anyway. Mm. More fun that way. Or then make yourself be the missile. Uh, no. <laughs> you are the missile. The keep. I keep seeing quite a lot of scrap appearing in our refineries to to process. Hey, Suzzle, do you know what your vehicle's going to need? What? A vastly longer wheelbase. Why? Otherwise, it's just going to tip on its nose. Oh, it will. I wasn't sure if it went like that. Okay. Okie dokie. And probably something quite heavy at the back. Like, put, put all the battery at the back. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Don't worry. Otherwise, you will find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Uh, really? What? Oh, no. I have the what? problem. Problem? I can get a cream for that. My ship is slowly sinking because of the... It, because it has a subgrid on it. Well, it is now on the ground, so it can no longer sink. But does anybody want anything welding? Yes, I have would like these. Have you a vast amount of components on your ship? Mm, well, I have room for a vast amount of components. Let's see if I can fit it in. Uh, oh, is the con connector still there? The one on your side of the docking bay? No. I would like a connector to be available on the Zorro for a flying ship to dock on the outside because I'm going to have quite a large flying ship.
Also, I, uh, I'm i being a bit silly in that I did not take a blueprint before flying the ship. Oh. Fine, you'll be okay. Living dangerously. Yep. Okay, definitely could do with a second gyro. Especially given that we are currently empty. <laughs> oh, I am a bit lower than I thought. Oh! I'm gonna need more retro thrusters now as well. I mean, we can go for the <laughs> sci fi theme if you like, but. Ah, uh, oops. Oh, I did a rev. You just blow up your ship without actually blo blueprinting it first. Uh, no, doing a rev in this context is whacking it against the ceiling of the hangar. Oh, did you remember to build ablative armor on the ceiling of your on the top <laughs> of your ship for that? <laughs> well, I did, but uh, uh, not uh, not sufficient. Uh, I thought it was going to be enough for any small knocks, but I wasn't really anticipating just whacking it really hard. By, with, or from the armor. Oh, now I'm going to have to set up the groups again. Ah. I think they would are like to keep are the you components driving? that I mean, they have mined. Where's my, uh, where's uh, my thing still, stuck on? I'm still decorating the bottom of the ship. Oh. Oh. I mean, oh, obviously, hell? it's all going to come off when we land on it anyway, right? So maybe I should stop, but... Uh... The new utility craft has made its maiden flight, and it's all ready to help Ed weld up his, uh, whatever that is. But how long will it take us to notice he's building it in large grid instead of small grid? Find out next time as we liberate Mars.